And I think the first thing to understand would be if you've been exposed to anybody that's been diagnosed with COVID-19 or if you've traveled to any of the five common areas where we have COVID-19, which is currently internationally endemic in China, Iran, South Korea, Japan, um, and Italy. Now, if you're here and you're living in the United States and you haven't traveled and you don't think you've been exposed to anyone, what I would recommend is if you have fever, cough, or any respiratory symptoms, you should call your primary care physician and get evaluated by them, but let them know before you come that you've got fever and respiratory symptoms. So the current recommendation is anyone who would have diabetes, heart disease, um, any immunosuppression, which is going to is really affects a lot of patients. So anybody who's had um, a bone marrow transplant, a solid organ transplant of any kind, who's on any immune suppressive medications, including steroids, particularly high dose steroids, um, anybody with chronic kidney disease, chronic liver disease, um, are gonna fall under that category. The current recommendations for travel is certainly not traveling to any of the um, five countries internationally um, and most of the time we're not going to be able to get there because most of the flights are canceled. Um, but we have really uh, recommended for immunosuppressed patients because they do fall in a high risk category um, that they limit non-essential travel both domestically and internationally. So if you don't have to um, take a flight or even drive to a location where there is a hot spot in the United States, uh, particularly the Seattle area um, is a hot spot. We've seen cases in New York City, cases in Boston. If you can limit non-essential travel, I would highly recommend that. So asymptomatic carriage, we've learned, is much more important for this virus and has really allowed it to spread across the country very quickly, which is very different um, than influenza. We know you can have asympto you can have carriage with influenza, but most people are symptomatic. Um, but the coronavirus and COVID-19 is you can spread disease to someone else and not even know it. And so you could be around someone that is not sick and they could spread it to you and you won't even know it. But somebody with immune suppression can certainly um, have more of a risk of getting severe disease. And so the virus has spread pretty significantly, um, much faster than anyone anticipated because of that reality. I would say in general precautions to take absolutely 100% all the time, wash your hands as much as you can for 20 seconds, soap and water. Um, and 20 seconds is a really long time, but doing that is helpful. Um, hand sanitizer if you don't have access to that and making sure that dries really well. Um, other things would, would be essentially lim limiting non-essential travel. So if there is a large gathering and you feel like you could be at risk or there's somebody in the community that has disease now, I would probably recommend not going.